field. And number 19 is at third base, number 13 is at second base. We got number 20 on Lacey up to bat. Looks like it's a hit down to fur, uh, second base, and it looks like she's out. And Lacey have just scored their first um, point. So we got one to zero and uh, two outs. Number two up to bat on Lacey. And it's a, a strike. And she hits it down to center field. And she gets on first base. We still have two outs. It looks like we got number 10 up to bat. Looks like a lefty, um, but she hits it down to right field and she makes it to, she makes a double to second and uh, number two on third. Looks like they're gonna huddle up and uh, talk a bit. Looks like number one um, up to bat here. And it's looks like a ball. There's another ball, two balls, uh, zero strikes, and two outs. And there's another ball, so three balls, uh, zero strikes, and two outs. All right, she's got three balls, one strike. Uh, it looks like she tipped it. Looks like it's a foul ball. She hits it outside of the gate. This 
versus um, Coho, number one Coho on Lacey. She's out, but um, it's now um, three to zero. Uh, Lacey winning. Um, but now we're in uh, bottom of the first inning, if that's how softball works. I play baseball personally, but uh, I'm not sure. Bye, Mom. See you later. Don't text and drive. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't see you. We didn't stop. I know, but my girlfriend, she, she's mad at me. I, I had to text her. But it's my first day of school. He's only seven. I know, but I was looking down at my phone. I, I can't stop. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. We are back though um, in the, we got Liberty up to bat and Lacey out in the field. Uh, so we got number four on uh, Liberty, which is Emily Travisca, Travaska, but um, looks like she's going to hit almost a home run, but she gets a triple here, gets all the way to uh, third base here. Uh, so next up to bat, I can't see that number, it looks like number one. Uh, Leah David. And she hits it, foul ball. And it's a dead ball. She gets a um, free base because it uh, hit her in the foot. So, and next up we've got Jules Giorgiano, uh, number twenty-seven. Let's see. It's a ball high. And and she's out. Number four, um, 
Emily Traviska. She's out. She tries to score, but she's out. Let's get a replay on that. We can see that the uh, catcher tags are out. But um, we still have number 27, uh, George, uh, Georgiano. And it's gonna be an out from uh, her. Next up to bat is number 10, Kaylee uh, Cavillo. It's a ball. It's another ball. That's a strike. It's another ball, so it's three balls, uh, one strike. Dead ball, so she's gonna get a free base. Uh, next up to bat is number five, uh, Madison Jefferson. It's going to be a ball. Looks like another ball. <laughs> and it's another ball. And it's another ball. And she has four balls, so she can uh, take her base. Next up to bat is Number seven, Ava Bacharo, I think. That's how you say it. Sorry if that's not how you say it. Um, looking like a strike, I believe. I guess she swung. Ball high. <clears throat> and it looks like I, I missed that. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Ball. It's going to be a strike. And uh, that is uh, their third out. So uh, we're going to go into commercial, I believe. But we're going to be going into the next inning. Are we going into commercial? Away here. And we're back for the uh, second inning, uh, top of the second, if that's how softball works. But if it's not, then it's the third inning. But um, we got Lacey up to bat. It looks like number seven or one. I, I can't. Yep, it's number seven, which is uh, C. Emmons. And she's going to hit it to... Looks like either right or center, but um, she's gonna make it to third base. And no, oh, it's gonna be a home run. Sorry, that was kind of loud. But she hit a home run. Very good, very good. But uh, that was a very good hit from uh, C. Emmons. We're gonna get a replay on that slide. And she's safe. But um, here's uh, number four, which is M English. Or Maddie, I'm hearing some people say Maddie, but it looks like it was, a, uh, she got caught out. We got number 15 up to bat, uh, M. Feldman. And she's going to hit a slow ball. And it looks like she's not going to get caught out, but um, number four, uh, M. English is going to score another run. And... Um, Number 15, M. Feldman, is going to make it to second base. <laughs> Let's get a replay on that. Uh, number 19, N. Skipper. I believe that's how you say it. Uh, it looks like it's another uh, run from number 15, I believe. I thought I saw number 12, but number 9 is going to make uh, another run. Looks like she's got a home run. And I lost uh, 
score. It says zero to, uh, wait, six to zero so far. Let's get a replay. Let's get a replay on uh, her coming in and scoring. Like we got number 13, M. Castel Castillo. Got a lot of M's. Uh, but no uh, first, we don't know the full first names, so. It's gonna be a ball. She's going to get a hit, but uh, unfortunately get caught out. <laughs> Let's get a replay on uh, that catch out. Almost makes it to the base. But anyways, we've got number 20 up, uh, which is G. Larier, Lard? I, I'm sorry. I don't know what the, how that name is pronounced. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, I'm just going to call you number 20 for now. Uh, but number 20, she, um, I believe that's a ball. Uh. Looks like it's a ball. And she's going to make a small bunt and make it to first base. We got number two, um, I Caruso. All right. Hey, listen, Harry Farone uh, popping in here. Good to see everybody. Yeah, welcome, welcome. Hi. How you doing, Marshall? Holding down the fort here? Yeah, doing pretty good here. All right, looks like we got a Lacey up. Looks like 6-0 here in the second. Yeah. And scoreboard not working today. That is kind of a drag, huh? Yeah. So we can't and see the score over there. Ball one. Throws down the first. And nothing there. One ball, no strikes. Top of the third here. Strike one called. And 1-1 one, one count. Beautiful day for a softball game, eh, Marshall? Oh, yeah, definitely. It's nice and warm out with Looks a like nice breeze coming from the back. Feels good. Yeah. That's ball two. We got a runner on first base here. Got to be at least one out here, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think we have one out for this inning so far. Okay. That's and a ball. ball inside. Three balls, one strike. Payoff pitch coming here. Three, one count, one out. Eh, runner could be going. Could go a little run and hit here. Let's see what uh, Lacey Coach decides here. 
And she keeps her, but it's ball four. And that's going to put runners on first and second here. Yep. As the Lacey batter, number 10. 10 steps to the plate. Jay Kovis. Looks like Kovacs. Oh. Runners on first and second. It's okay, buddy. And strike one call. No balls, one strike. Leah Dowd pitching today. Actually, Leah Dowd not pitching today. Rebecca Galvin. It's ball a ball. One. Throws back to second, just misses getting her. You know, one thing, that's uh, our, our first, let me take a look at the replay there. Sun is savage out here today. Yeah, there's like she a just gets hard back. glare. I can't see it. Yeah, it's tough today. And it's going to be a two. strike. Galvin ahead. One ball, two strikes. One out. Runners on first and second. Defense is set. It's going to be a low ball. Tries to throw the ground ball there. Yeah. Brings the count to two and two. I love a good ground ball with runners on first and second. Yeah. These softball games, a lot of fun to cover. And that's strike three. She'll get her swing in, and that's actually out number three. And that's going to, uh, let's see, leave Lacey in the lead 6-0. We're going to take a short break for a commercial, and we'll be back in just a minute. You have the power to save a life. Cardiac arrest isn't rare, but surviving it is. Over 300,000 people suffer from sudden cardiac arrest every year. About 8% survive. And it's not only the elderly that can experience these life-altering events. The number one killer of young athletes is sudden cardiac arrest. Because a young athlete dies from cardiac incident once every three days in the United States. About 80% of cardiac arrests that occur are outside of a hospital. About 89% of those victims don't survive because people around them don't know how to perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It's very simple. You can help save a life. The American Heart Association changed its protocol for the public to hands-only CPR, which means when a witness cardiac arrest occurs, a bystander like you can call 911 and begin external chest compressions immediately by pushing hard and fast in the center of the chest while awaiting arrival of the first responders. It's very straightforward. Your immediate action can help save a life. Learn hands-only CPR. All right, welcome back. We are at the, we're at the bottom of the third. Bottom of the third. Uh, so far, it's been uh, Lacey on offense here. So let's see if uh, the Liberty Lions can get things going here. That looks like yeah. number 15. Which is... Bianca DeRusso. And she's going to ground out for out number one. And back to the top of the order here. Actually, Got that it. is number 31, Summer Hunter. Oh. Looks like they're going backwards a little bit. Throws the off-speed pitch. Nice pitch for strike one. Got to watch out for that off-speed pitch. Boy, that's tough stuff. Oh, Used yeah. to seeing that ball coming in. And fouls that off for strike two. Good for the pitcher, bad for the batter. 0-2 count. Not a great place to be as a batter, but as a pitcher here, you do not have to throw a strike here. I would look for absolutely nothing in the strike zone here. Up and away, maybe. And up and away it's it is. going to be a ball. Ball one. Doesn't chase. Good discipline there from Summer Hunter. 
can hear uh, Coach Borelli over here right next yep. to us, uh, coaching up over there. And that is ball two, is ball? tries to take that one down. Two, two count. If I was a betting man, I would think there's a strike coming. As a hitter, I'm feeling pretty good about pulling the trigger here. And ball and three. Ball. Here Takes it to a full count here. Pitcher now in a position, starts out 0-2, now at 3-2. And throws ball four. What a good at bat for Hunter. She had to work hard for that one. Hung in there tough. And Liberty's got a runner on first base and now batting, we must have read that shirt wrong, Marshall. Because uh, this is clearly number 15 now. What? And this is Bianca DeRusso. Yeah, we must have missed something. What was that? I don't know, we missed something before. Comes with the first strike. Runner on first, one out. Here we go. Okay, it's... And that ball gets lifted. Oh, it's going to be a... Gonna get caught, caught out. I got a little loud. <laughs> yeah, and that's gonna roll, and that's gonna be tough. She hesitated. Oh, they don't throw though, so she's gonna advance to second. But we do get the out. So two outs, runner on second now. Long fly ball. Good news is we're at the top of the order here as number four. Uh, Emily to to Vasco. To Vasco. Oh, that's a four. She's gonna make it to second. Uh, and second, two first. outs. Just kidding. That foul ball. It's a foul ball. Tavasco, good contact hitter. Runner on two here. Let's see if the Lions can push a run across here. She's gonna gets her with the off-speed pitch. No balls, two strikes. Looks like a drop. O2 count. That's Ooh, a ball. just misses. One ball, two strikes. And it's going to be a pop fly. Tough sign, and it drops. So and that's going to be an error in there. That third. is a really tough sun. The ball had a lot of backspin on it. We'll take a look at the replay there because you can see the spin on the ball. If we do it quickly, we have time for it. Okay, so first and third, two outs. Ball one, they're looking to throw them out. She doesn't run the second there, so she holds. I think they were fishing. So many uh, interesting plays you can set up with a first and third situation. And she runs this time, but they're going to throw. She's safe, she's and they're going to score the run. Good heads up base running. And Liberty going to push a run across as uh, Lacey goes all in on the, uh, on the steal and tries to get her. Two balls, no strikes. Runner on second now. And that ball goes through. Luckily, the second baseman's there to get it. We got uh, number one, uh, Leah David, up at bat. And I couldn't hear what that was. Was that a strike? That was a strike. It was. Two balls, one strike. That's a, ball. that's a ball, and it walks her. And that's two walks drawn this inning. Runners on first and second, puts the force play on pretty much everywhere but home. Right. And now up for the Lions. We got uh, number 27, Jules uh, Georgiana. Yeah, you got that right. Good job on the tough name. Jules sporting a good name. That's a good name, Jules. I like that name. That's what I call my brother, by the way. <laughs> and that's going to sit gonna up. Be. It's sunny out there. And she's Clutch does a good out. job, pulls it in. But the Lions, the Liberty Lions, do pick up one 
for the inning and close that gap to five runs. Now six to one. We'll take a commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And we're back. We've got uh, number one uh, S. Cohot uh, up to bat. And sounds like, was that a strike? That uh, looked like a strike from here. And it's going to be, looks like a foul ball. Oh. Strike two? Yep, strike two. Uh, strike two, pitchers count. And it's going to be caught out. Oh, she's going to be, yeah, caught Backhanded out. Backhanded by number 10, Kaylee Cavallo, and our First baseman uh, hangs on to that one. Let's take a look at the replay here. She, she kind of catches this one and makes the nice throw to first. Out number one. Yeah. Uh, right. Looks very like we're. Good catch. Uh, looks like we've got Emmons up here. Yep. Number uh, seven. I can't see over there. That's uh, ball one. It's gonna be a ball. Settles in the box. And it's gonna be, I believe, a ball. Ball two, Looks yep. It's like a, a little bit low. Trying to pitch around this eight batter or the nine batter right now. Yeah. It looks like it's and gonna be another ball. Ball three ones outside, Marshall. Three zero count. Oh, uh, we got uh, three balls and zero strikes. Uh, so what's what's coming here, buddy? She's gonna Looks be taking like, a strike. Yeah. You can bet your money on that one. One out, nobody on base. Absolutely. Oh, and she's swinging. Ooh. I take that back. Strike one. Three and one, the count. And it's another strike. Yeah, she's working her way back here, full count. Payoff pitch coming. Let's see what her. What Shout out to the go. Siggy brother and sister tandem today. They are on camera for us. Anthony and Adriana. Oh, 
And, and that's it's going to be a ball. Ball four. four ball. All right, run around first. And we are to the top of the order here. We got number four, uh, English. And this is where some of that damage was done earlier in the game. So with one out, Liberty hoping to uh, get a ground ball here. Yeah. And it is a ground ball. And the like quick toss gonna... over to two gets the lead runner. They try to turn two. It's really tough in softball to turn two. Yeah. It's Take a, a look at the replay. It really is because the the base paths are only sixty feet, and it's right. Doesn't really uh, doesn't work so well for for double plays, but right. you can see that throw there. Maybe replay the other camera so we can actually see the ball being caught and thrown. Maybe guys. <laughs> But, um, Maybe lean on the uh, the, the uh, we got a uh, number 15. backstop cam. We got number fifteen uh, Feldman. But uh, we got two outs so far. That's a strike. Two outs. Runner on first. Strike one. And Ooh, that she's could be gonna, trouble. She's gonna hit it That's all the way down to left. In. Uh, no, right field. Sorry, I've been saying this is right field. Yeah. This is left field. That's, That's right field correct. over there. And that's gonna be an RBI double there as uh, that run's gonna score. Uh, uh Lacey scores. Mm-hmm. All right. And that's also gonna bring number nineteen. Could be a pinch. Oh, number 19. Oh, number 19, uh, Skepper. Yep, with a runner on second here. Liberty, uh, or rather, Lacey. Lacey. Uh, it's going to be a strike. 7 to 1 now, back up by 6 after that RBI double. Whew. It's a hot one out there. Out here. Yeah, I can feel it on my back. <laughs> yeah. That's a ball. One ball, one strike, and we got two outs. And it looks like we've got uh, number 15 on second base. And oh, that is ripped into the outfield, right and she's going to try to score. Field. And she's going to score. She's going to score. Lacey on fire today. RBI single there. Can't even see the screen. It is really tough. Oh, uh, but we got number thirteen, uh, Castillo. Up to bat. And was that a ball one? Ball, yeah. Lacey doing all this damage right now with two outs, which is pitcher's nightmare. Yeah. The coach's nightmare for that matter. That's, and a, ball. that's a ball. Just missed. Two nice balls. Job of, uh, nice job of framing there by the catcher. We got two, two balls, Georgiana. zero strikes, and two outs. It's going to be another ball. Good eye from the batter. We got three balls. She's gonna hit it. Ooh, oh that's my! That's got some distance. Looks looking like it's gonna be a that home drops run. Drops in. Might be. I am not sure. They might have her at the plate if they throw, and she holds. Oh, she's gonna go Georgiano right back. Georgiano doesn't. They've got a caught and, between. And and, and she's out. Just very close to. And the double there just. Very close there. Yeah, uh, pretty close. We'll take a look. This gonna replay of this. <laughs> this ball was ripped, but. They kind of get hung up there. Yeah. She's they got a double all back. All, got good arms from people in the field. Uh, they threw yeah, it all the way down to the catcher tag. and then all the way back to second base. Yeah. <laughs> but um, we'll uh, take a short break. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. I wait here by the curb when my old friend. Plastic 
It's alright. Hardcore's a delight. When you recycle, you're doing your part. So round up all you can to help your fellow man. Keep the planet healthy wherever you roam. You're not acting alone. The earth is your home. Yeah, yeah. When you recycle, you're safe. Sick? Mm. Have you been sneezing? Mm. Well, I'm gonna teach you proper sneezing etiquette. Yeah! Step one, prepare to sneeze. <gasps> Step two, grab a tissue. Hey, here's your tissue. Thank you. Step three, cover your nose and mouth with the tissue. Step four, sneeze. Watch out! Step five, throw it out. Hey, here's the garbage. Thank you. Step six, go wash your hands. Ew. What to do if you don't have a tissue? Step one, prepare to sneeze. And we're back. Uh, oh, wow. In the uh, top of the fourth inning, we got, um, looks like, number 14. No, we don't have a number 14. What is that number? Number 10? I cannot tell. Really looks like number 14. But um, I think we've got two balls so far. That's gonna be, oh. Four balls. And next up, we've got number five up to bat. Number five? What? Oh, I missed that. Madison Jefferson. Um, Strike. And she's gonna hit a pop fly. And she's and gonna miss. Looks like she's gonna get a double here. So, oh, never mind. We got number ten. Number 10, I believe. Yeah, Kaylee Cav Cavillo. Cavillo on uh, second base. But um, now we've got number seven, uh, Ava Bocharo. Ball. We've got uh, one ball. And um, I believe zero outs so far. going to be a ball. Welcome back for him. Thank you. Number seven. Ava Bicaro up. Throws a strike. strike. Two balls, one strike. I believe it's a zero. Got a runner so on far. second. Nobody out, huh? All right. Liberty going to try and put an inning together here. Yep. And that ball's got some spin on it. And First it's and be second, out. and that's going to be out number one. That ball kind of got up in on her hands a bit. Take a look at the replay. We have a replay. Let's take a look at this here. And she makes a nice grab. One ball, no strikes. 
That's up and away for ball two. This is Rebecca Calvin. Uh, Galvin, my bad. It's ball be three. Ball. That one misses in. First and second. Got to force play everywhere but home. And it's going to be a strike. Called strike for strike one. Three balls, one strike. And that's going to be ball four. Ball four. And I love it when base runners are stealing or looking like they are running hard on ball four to try and induce the catcher to make a throw. Yeah. It warms my heart to know that somebody <laughs> is thinking about that. And now we got loaded bases, one out. Now here's the deal. Situationally here, the grounders, they can go pretty much anywhere they want. They do have a six-run lead, so they can give up a run if they so desire to. All and right. really just focus on getting the out. They could get it anywhere. That's one of the benefits of, you know, of being on defense with a lead. Yeah. Uh, you can, you know, have, sacrifice a, a run for an out. That's ball one, and it spins off, but really doesn't get far enough away to threaten a run. Again, they're looking to, you know, Coach Borelli coaching up her, her player about trying to put the fear of God in them there, so to speak. Let make that catcher think about it. And the home plate camera is a very good camera for right now. That is ball two. That one just misses low and in. No place to put her, so I'm sure the uh, Kahoot here is thinking about uh, throwing a strike here, but that's ball three. And it's three and Yeah, oh. ball three. Sorry about that. And you can guarantee she's taking a strike here. Even though I said that last time and then she didn't take a strike. I think <laughs> right. in this situation with loaded bases, for sure. This is Summer uh, Hunter. And that's ball four. Ball four, she's gonna. It's gonna bump Liberty up to two points. Yeah, two runs it is. Loaded base is still one out. Oh, and now up runs. for the Liberty Lions. Uh, looks like number, number 15. 15. Don't have... Oh, we do. Bianca that is, that DeRusso. That is Bianca DeRusso. Base hit, scores two here, so I'm sure she's thinking about it. And she comes back with strike one in a good spot. Bianca. No balls, one strike. Sorry. Round ball, they're gonna go for the plate and they get her at the plate. Good heads up play by the third baseman. Prevents the run from scoring and now we've got two outs and the bases are loaded. Pretty much a, the only place you didn't want to hit a ground ball, pretty much <laughs> right there. Right. And the third baseman makes a nice play. Instead of going back to third and getting the out, getting the easy out, she does go home and, uh, and gets the out, prevents the run from scoring. It's going to be ball one. Yep. Be on your toes for a pass ball here. This is Emily. And that's going to sit up a little bit. And that's out number three. Again, and I'm going to wow. remind our audience here, the outs in the outfield this time of the day, there's no such thing as a routine fly ball. All right. The sun at Liberty at this time of the day and left and center and really anywhere in the outfield is just awful. Yeah. But uh, the Lions do come back and get a run. Yeah. So Seven to two. We'll take a short break. We'll be right back after this commercial there, Marshall. All right.
You have the power to save a life. Cardiac arrest isn't rare, but surviving it is. Over 300,000 people suffer from sudden cardiac arrest every year. About 8% survive, and it's not only the elderly that can experience these life-altering events. The number one killer of young athletes is sudden cardiac arrest, because a young athlete dies from cardiac incident once every three days in the United States. About 80% of cardiac arrests that occur are outside of a hospital. About 89% of those victims don't survive because people around them don't know how to perform cardiopulmonary resuscitation. It's very simple. You can help save a life. The American Heart Association changed its protocol for the public to hands-only CPR. Which oh, there we go. And Let's we are uh, wake up our uh, crack production staff there. Um, playing the longest commercial we have every inning. <laughs> Trying to pick uh, a shorter one, guys. What do you say? All right, here's the situation. We got. We are uh, in the top of the fifth. And number 20. Uh, Lacey up, what, 7 to 2? Oh, that's a tough shot. Oh, she runs it down, though, with the scoop. That's Summer Hunter with the grab. Laird. Oh. Nope. My eyes are watering, people. This, this either tells me one of two things. Either A, it's dinner time, or B, there's a lot of pollen in the air. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we got number two up. Um, I, Caruso. Caruso. Well, we didn't get first name, so I'm going to go with Isabella. Yeah. Um, it's going to be a And that bounces off the foot, ball. hits you in the foot. In the box, it is a foul ball. If it hits you outside the box, guess what? what? You are out. <laughs> O-U-T, my friend. I believe we have one out so and far, We do right? have one out. Yeah. There's a, let's see, no balls, one strike. And what inning is this? This is the top of the fifth. All righty. Oh, Looks like you got a ball. Ball one. One ball, one strike. My eyes are watering. I feel like I just watched The Notebook. What's going on? <laughs> I haven't seen it. Oh, it's a real tearjerker. Ooh, another one out to Summer Hunter. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh trying to deal with that sun. Good it's job, Wita. Gonna be caught out. We got two outs. Oh, man, not in a rush there, Summer. After the grab, there, girl. Take a deep breath. Toss it in. And next up, you can we've see got there. If we take a look at that replay, you can see she's kind of using her glove, I think, to shade. Herself a little. Let's see if I can see this here. And mm, makes a pretty nice grab out there. Good job. Um, but we got oh. number ten, uh, Jay Kovacs. Second and baseman Madison Jefferson kind of bobbles that one a little bit. Looks like Ended number up with ten. An e. Let's see. I've done this on in a while. first base. But um, we got number one, um, S. Cohoot. I like which one? This one. To bet. Yep. I like Cohoot. <laughs> oh, and, and that just just skims just over the third hitting. baseman's head, and it drops in for a base hit. Oh boy. Ooh, it's getting and hot out here. And we got Emmons stepping to the plate now. This is going to be a big out here because. We'll take a look at this line drive and we'll talk about the importance of this next one here. That's a nice rip. Just gets it over the third baseman's head, drops in for a base hit. Trouble here is we're in the nine hole here. Back to the top of that tough lacy one, two, three. So they really want to get this out here. Right. And it's gonna oh, be a strike. strike. Sounds like the umpire is singing over there. Oh, he's he's got a beautiful voice. <laughs> And another Oof. pop fly, uh, and oh. it's going to be caught out. Tavasco pulls it in outs. and ends the inning. And that is it. We got Marshall, I want you to feel this right now. I want you to just up. sit here for a second, and I want you to, nope, turn your back to me, oh. and I want you to turn your head and look up like you see a fly ball. Oh look God. to the right. Uh. Now look to the right. That's where the ball's going. Uh. Yeah, <laughs> that's what they're facing out there. All right, we're going to take a short commercial. 
And I emphasize <laughs> the word short. We'll be right back. Join me, Terry Bradshaw, as I explore all that's new and exciting about the USA and Canada and what people are doing in order to make a difference. It's an easy way to see what's happening across your own country. Welcome to Today in America. The Northeast has played a dominant role in American history and continues to be a major powerhouse today. Join me as we journey to one destination among the original 13 colonies. Situated about halfway between New York City and Philadelphia, Jackson Township, New Jersey, is one of America's best places to live, work, and to play. Established in 1844, the town was named after President Andrew Jackson. Its primary economic driver at the time was agriculture, and while some farms still exist, Jackson Township has transitioned from a rural to a developing community. And we're oh, back. Thanks, Terry. Uh, let's see, we got uh, number one up at the plate here. This is uh, Leah Dowd. David. David, I'm sorry. Thank you. That's really small. It's not your fault, it's mine. Yeah, it's okay. And we got no balls, one strike. Can I borrow that real quick? Ball one. Thank you. One ball, one strike. I want to thank Taylor Rucknock for uh, getting me a cup of coffee today that I've been milking for four hours. Ball two. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. And, and that ball gets ripped ball. in the direction of Coach Borelli, but her cat light reflexes gets her out of the way. <laughs> and it's two balls and two strikes. As uh, David a little bit out in front of that one. Two and two. And it's going to be well, caught gonna out. Drop that back shoulder a little bit. That's going to be out number one with the pop-up. And my water is going to get real hot real fast. Yeah, if I keep, keep it, it in, in the, the shade, sun. my friend. Yeah, I was keeping it down. Uh, Jules Georgiano up to the plate. Ball one. Oh, wow. And that ball gets punished. That's going to drop in. For extra bases, she'll at least get second out of that. And she'll hold it second. Uh, with probably the best contact I saw today. Oh, yeah, definitely. Line drive frozen rope to left. Right. All right. What? Runner on second. Uh, and it's going to be. Ground ball. Straight to uh, second base right there. Second baseman. And Jewel should have advanced on that play. Coach has given her an ear. Got to be ready for that first pitch. You don't know. All right. All right, two outs, runner on second. Still have a runner in scoring position. You got number five, um, Kaylee Cavallo. And that ball's wow. going to drop in. Oh. And Lib's going to score another run here. And that's a base hit by, like, Madison Jefferson, if I'm not mistaken, number five, yeah. A little freshy I had in class this year. Good job, Madison. Madison and Hunter, they always kind of got me confused because they were always with each other. And that ball gets by. She's going to take second on that one. Little pass ball, little PB. I'll take it. Thank you very much. Put me in scoring position. Ball one. All righty. We got... Uh, Love seeing aggressive base running there, let me tell you. We got number 10. Oh, Ava. that ball's going to spin like crazy, and she gets the out. But guess what? Liberty puts another one on the board here. 
Marshall, well, not there. Huh? Didn't we already add that? No, we didn't already. And, oh, maybe we didn't. Yes, we did replay. And you can see that, that ball just spun in a circle when it hit the ground. So That's out number three. And it is eight to four. Are. Score now and, uh, eight to four? Yeah, eight to four. Eight to four it is. I'm going to check with Coach. We'll be back in just a minute. is more than double since 1980, and today, Jackson Township is home to around 58,000 residents. Known by many as the gateway to the Jersey Shore, it's the largest township in Ocean County and the third largest in the state. It spans over 100 square miles, 8,500 acres of which are considered developable land. All of this room to grow makes Jackson Township a place flourishing with development opportunity. And that's exactly what township leaders and others in the community are working to achieve. The collaborative effort goes back to our working with the New Jersey State Department of uh, Community Affairs, along with the New Jersey Institute of Technology uh, College of Architecture, who helped us design and market this strategic plan so we can attract new businesses, actually people who come to Jackson for you know, not only careers. And we Boy, are I'll, back. I'll tell you what, the, the poster child for coming back late Seems to be direct to Kyler Hernandez right now, huh? Yeah. Yep, yep. That Terry Bradshaw thing gets you every time. All right. <laughs> we so got here's an update. Four. First of all, it's 8 4. Yep, corrected on the scoreboard. We got and number we are four. We're in the uh, bottom of the fifth. Right. Nope, I'm sorry, top of the sixth. Oh, yeah, top of the sixth. Uh, but we got uh, number four, uh, English up to bat. Um, and I don't know what the count is currently. And that's strike, uh, strike two. Two, all right. No and balls, two strikes. And Ooh, whoa. ripped. Tries to one hop that at second, but it's just a little too hot, and she's gonna slide over to first base on. I, I would, I would score that a base hit, to be quite honest. And run around first. Now up for the Lacey Lions, number fifteen. We got uh, number 15, uh, Feldman. Not Corey. Nobody out. Run around first. Ooh, brings the heater for strike one. And looks like, whoa. Ripping through the sky. Looks like, is she going to catch? She is going to oh, catch nice it. Grab. Whoa. An awesome catch from, uh, looks like. Leah David with the grab. Wow. Center field. Nice Let's catch. Let's get a replay. Take a, a look at the replay catch. here. JT, I would like to call it the JTV play. And off the bat. Very, very slow. She runs it down. Makes the grab. One out. One out, runner on first. We got uh, number another 19, fly ball. That's Whoa. And another out. That Two one's outs. going to be run down by the left fielder, Bianca DeRusso. And we got. Two outs now, runner on first. We got number 13, M. Castillo, up to bat. Mm, she had a good day. Uh, roped the double last time she was up. Whoa! Looks like she's a second uh, shortstop and is gonna an catch errant it. Throw and she's gonna try to score. Let's see if she comes. Gets it to the pitcher. Let's take a look at that. Vasquez got a rocket for an arm, and you can see how she kind of overthrows that one a bit. First and third. And first and third to two, or rather second and third two outs here. Let's see if they can get an out here. Try and prevent these guys from scoring. Oh, and that's going to slip oh, through. Oh, take a bad That's going to score two. Ugh. Two runs come across the plate. 
And Lacey now up 10 to four. We got the score at 10 to four. And runner on first, one, two outs. We got number two, uh, I Caruso at the plate. It's gonna be a bowl. And uh, she's gonna, oh, she's gonna and make it that to ball second base. Off the glove. Oh, she might be able to make it to third, but she's gonna stay put there. And they and score that another Lacey run on that. 11 points, 11 to It's 11 to four. four. And Liberty's gonna take a timeout, regroup. They've got a case of the throwsies there. Right. Lost the ball around a bit. Lacey now up 11 of four. Wow. Lacey is destroying Liberty right now. But uh, maybe they can make a comeback. Well, Never know. know. Softball's a beautiful sport. When right. There's no clock on it. That's what's uh, beautiful about this sport. It's not run by a clock. All right, um, we're on second two outs here. At the plate, we've got uh, Jay Kovacs. It's a ball. Yep, ball one. That worked out. The wind is killing me. Yeah, it's starting me to right pick now. up. I was just about to say the same thing. I can hear it in my mic. Yeah. That's how I know it's getting windy. Try and move that mic a little closer to my mouth. Right. It's going to be a strike. strike. Nice one. One ball, one strike. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's going to be. Looks like a ball. Another rip it base right hit. Down to and left field. she's going to score. Another run for Lacey. It's going to be 12 to 4. Let's let's take a look. They continue to bust out that. the bat here as pretty nice base hit. She kind of went with the pitch, dropped it in. Pretty good. Pretty good. Two outs again. Lacey two innings in a row doing all their damage once they get two outs. We've got S. Coho at the uh, plate. Um, uh, I believe one strike, right? Mm -hmm. okay. That's going to foul off. Our camera operator, Anthony, flinched a bit there. I saw that, Anthony. My advice always to our camera operators on foul balls is hide behind your camera. Right. Yeah. That's a ball it's up a bit. A, ball. a bit high. And she's going to rip it through That's the air. That's another it's base be a hit. Center base. Uh, not center base. Center field hit, but she's going to make it first. Look and Lacey at continues to go back to back to back to back hits here. Right. First and second, two outs. We've got pretty much force outs on every base but home. So a ground got, ball, you can go easy base here. We got number seven, uh, C. Emmons. Strike one. It's a I'm strike. Call it a swinging strike. It's going to be a two. strike. 
That's uh, zero balls, two strikes. And we got two outs so far, I believe. Two outs, right? Two outs, yep. No balls, two strikes. Mm, pitcher's pitch here, but well, I think she's going to probably just kind of come with a strike here. Nope, throws oh, it low. Cool. And that's going to advance the runners to second and third. Puts a little more pressure on the defense now as the force play is now off. So in field, got to go to one. It's going to be a foul. Gets her on the strike. called strike, but three outs. Damage is done there as the rally for Lacey moves the game to 12 to four. We're gonna stick around during this half inning. Let's chat a little about some upcoming events there, Marshall. All right. uh, first of all, we've got tomorrow night here at Liberty, the Jackson Liberty High School uh, concert band. Oh. Will be uh, putting on a show. All right. Uh, with Miss Katona's uh, group of. Excellent performers. Uh, we've got the jazz band will be there. There's probably a little, if I'm not mistaken, there'll be a little woodwind choir action going on. So if you're a fan of good music, well, this band does such a nice job. You can come out and check that tomorrow night right here at Liberty. Uh, a little bit further away, a week away, we've got the Ferronis. Uh, that's uh, a big show here at Liberty. Uh, this year's theme is Disney 100, so all the music we're doing for this show is all Disney themed uh, princesses and uh, lots of good times. And if you're into Disney, this is gonna be a fun show. Uh, it's kind of a spectacle. We bring in a lighting uh, director, one of the lighting guys from, actually from Disney. One of our former students comes in and does lighting for us for the show. And uh, it's a top notch uh, concert experience. That'll be next Thursday, April 25th at 6.30 p.m. You can get tickets for that at Ferronis.com. So uh, the art's alive and well here. You got a band going on tomorrow night right here at Liberty. That's you can come fun. back in a week, punch your ticket, and uh, see a, a, a fun-themed uh, Disney show. Yeah, it sounds fun. Yeah, it, uh, it'll be a good one. Again, you can get those tickets at Ferronis.com. All right. And we're back live. This is the bottom of the sixth. Uh, Liberty's got some work to do here now down, is that eight? Uh, Down yeah, eight runs. So. But we got, who is that? Looks like number 10. Number uh, 10 Kaylee is Cavallo. Kaylee Cavallo. That's a strike. Uh, strike. And that ball gets up underneath again, and that's going to be caught for out number one. Man, it'd be nice if they had a snack stand here. Like, Lots of pop outs today. Let's take a look Replay at that. that. First baseman making Hits. the catch. Catch. All right. There it is. And Summer Hunter. Having herself a good little game so far. I think that was a strike. Strike one it is. Whoa! And she makes a pop that's fly. Run and down by the shortstop for out number two. And that was caught by looks like number twenty. Uh, uh, how do you say that again? That last the replay there, number ten. That's Kovacs. And gets just under that one. Ball one. Be ball. Bianca DeRusso up. One ball, one strike. <sighs> Two and one. 
Almost hit her in the feet. Has to come to you, has to come to you. Strike two. Strike. Just missed making contact there. And that's going to draw like the walk. Just going to walk. Gives a space the runner here. Back to the top of the order. Alrighty, um, we got number four, which is uh, Emily Tavasco um, up at the plate here. So let's see. I think that was a strike. Didn't quite catch that from the umpire. Let's take a look at that. <laughs> Replay. Throw down. Um, it's going to be. Whoa! Going to rip right to third. It's going to be a third out. We're going to. We'll see you back in a bit for the next inning. Oh, but first, take a look at that replay of that out. All right, and we'll be back. Let's design and market this strategic plan so we can attract new businesses. Actually, people have come to Jackson for you know not only careers, but to live and, and work here. With the substantial increase in population, Jackson Township leaders say their residents could use more big business in town, providing the services residents now have to seek outside of town. Jackson Township leaders also say they would like to increase development to provide local employment opportunities and to shift the rateable base from residential to commercial. The township's strong population and its already huge attractor, Six Flags Great Adventure, are working in its favor. One of the first pieces to the township's master plan is the development of a lodging and entertainment venue. The Department of Community Affairs and the New Jersey Institute of Technology College of Architecture and Design are key parts of the project. Right now, all that Jackson Township needs is a hotel developer to come in, seize this opportunity. The New Jersey Business Action Center is poised to develop a package of incentives for a developer that comes to the state. So we're optimistically. And we are back, top of the seventh. This um, is it, last inning. Liberty got, needs to shut this down right off the bat. We've got number four, English. Uh, that's going to be, I believe, a ball. And this is top of the order here for the Lacey right. Lions. So yeah. there's going to be some work to be done here. Lacey Lions, too? Yeah, we got the Lions against the Lions. Oh. Little ground Whoa. ball. Ooh, takes a tough a hop. Stays ball. with it. Right down, and it's going to be. Ooh, just misses Gettner. We're going to have to check out the replay on that. I think that was absolutely oh, safe. Ty goes to the runner. Yeah, I think it was. I think I got the call right. Let's see. Let's uh, let's go to the JTV replay here and make sure our umpire. I'm pretty sure he got that square. Go back and take a peek. And I'm going to have to rely. Yep. Ty goes to the runner. Uh, nobody out. Right Runner on first. We got that number, is 15, number 15. Feldman. That was a, uh, was that a strike? That was a strike. All right. <sighs> and it's going to be a bowl. Oh, nicely backhanded by the third baseman, but that's going to be picked up in foul territory. Just a long strike. Right. Uh, again, runner on first. And nobody out here, right? We got one out. I forget. Uh, nobody out. 
Oh, she throws the drop. And Bounces out in front of the catcher. Oh. She's going to take second on a pass ball there. Looks like that ball hit her right in the hand, in the palm, when it bounced up. Couldn't really tell there, but <clears throat> anyways, we've got uh, still Feldman at the plate. Sitting here watching a softball game, I find myself reminiscent about my own coaching days there. I know you're probably not listening there, but uh, Coach Mo, Coach Pasercia, or Hannaway, shout out to you guys. Miss you guys a lot. Number 19, and Skipper uh, at the plate. That's a ball up and away. Nobody out runner on two. This is. Mm. Really got to pay it. Oh, actually, first and second. So we do have a force play at third. And that's a ball. Looks mm. like one and one, maybe. I believe so. Um. <clears throat> and it's going to be a, th a hit right to third base, and it's going to be an out. It's going to be our first out, I believe. That's it. That's a big out here. Wow. Let's see our replay. And they get that lead runner, and... And we've got number 13 at the plate, M. Costello. Costello. She has had a day. I'm Been tough all day long. Yep. Got a base open at first. I don't know how crazy I'd be to pitch to this one. Yeah, that's a ball. blowing away. Take that. Two outs. Base open. And called swinging strike. Foul ball. Fouls that one off. I don't know about you, Dylan, but I'm noticing even after just two warm days, the, uh, the bugs are out in full force. Yeah. Actually, on the way over here from my parking space, there was a hornet that caught a ride on my dashboard. Oh. I have to remember not to leave my windows open during the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, a few bees Another hit Another ground me ball right picked up. And, that's and gonna be thrown third out. out nicely by Tavaska. Very nice play. And you can see her really just takes care of that, makes it look routine. Well, guess what? We're coming up, bottom of the seventh. Got ourselves a 12 to four game. Liberty Lions gonna have to really get those rally caps on here. We'll be back in just a minute. Reality. The lodging facility will be the first of its kind at any Six Flags property. We're very excited about having the lodging and entertainment complex at Six Flags Great Adventure. The reason being is currently almost all of our guests when they come to visit the park can't stay because there isn't much accommodation in the area. And so this is actually going to give us the opportunity for them to enjoy the entire complex, both the water park and the theme park on a visit, extend the weekend, or come actually down and spend their vacations here. We're actually looking forward to that. In addition to the opportunities for commercial development, Jackson Township's residential sector has room to accommodate an additional 5,600 housing units. Mitch Lee of Lee Realty has plans to build 1,500. Mitch Lee's been working very closely with the mayor and the township of Jackson to design a vision, uh, a vision of a dream village, a place where people can uh, work, live, play, have fun. These current and future development plans are designed to make the quality of life for Jackson residents that much greater. 
The township already boasts year-round recreational opportunities, including two golf courses, campground resorts, and 10 playgrounds and park facilities. It features an excellent public school system with a nationally recognized high school band, a low crime rate, premium outlet shopping, and nearby access to top-notch health care facilities. Now is probably the most exciting time in Jackson's history with everything we have to offer to families, businesses looking to relocate or start a new business, a premier destination now for vacations. Families are going to love it here. Live, work, and play. I couldn't think of a better place. All right, welcome back. We're in the bottom of the seventh. Liberty down uh, 12, 12 to 4. And the rally caps are going to have to come out here. Got a new pitcher in the circle. Emmons for uh, Lacey. We so got to close this out for the Lacey Lions. And we got number one at off. the plate, Leah David. It's going to be yep. a foul ball. Leah's had a pretty good day. Yeah. This is our last inning, correct? It is. That's ball one. One ball, one strike. Oh, sorry. Sorry. And it looks like a ball. Two balls, one strike. Two balls and one strike. And that's three and one. They're working that count. Nobody out here. Okay. Um. We got still number one, Leah David, at the plate here. Uh, looking like that was a ball strike. I couldn't tell. All right, we got number 27, Jules Giorgiano, at the plate. Oh, the dodge was a ball. Fielder number four. That was a nice contact, though. That um, was such M. a English. good Call hit. M. English. Let's look at our replay here. A crazy shot. You can see good contact, but just. Unfortunate that the uh, player caught it. And we got number 10 at the plate. That is Kaylee Cavillo. Uh, Cav Cavallo. Cavallo, my bad. Looking at, I believe, one That's strike. That's up and away. Still a runner on first, one out. Liberty not going to make this easy here. That's a ball. ball. I believe it's one ball, two strikes, is that correct? One ball, two strikes? Or is it one strike? Definitely at least two and one. Uh, 
That's going to take us to three and one. And got to be ready now. Three one count. This is going to probably be the best pitch to hit in her count. So she's going to lock in, lock in, look for a strike. And it misses wide. It's going to be a ball. She's ball four, and we've got runners on first and second, one out. She's going to take her base. And coach will have a quick conversation. And, you know, hey, listen, uh, coach, I'm, you know, telling him, hey, listen, she's having a hard time finding the strike zone right now, so be patient at the plate. And on the other side, they got the catcher saying, hey, listen, this is cake. We're just playing catch here. This is number five, Madison Jefferson. The other half of the Hunter Jefferson combination. And that's ball one. That's ball. Madison looking a little intimidating in there. I like it. And it's going to be a gonna foul, foul ball. Off. Watch out, people Strike behind one. the behind the field. And that's a foul ball. That's going to go out of play for strike two. Gets her on strike three. Good cut, though. It's going to go down swinging. It's going to be uh, And it's going to bring Liberty out. to their last out here. First and second, two outs. And this is Ava Picaro. <coughs> Ball That's one. Ball. Two outs uh, in field can go pretty much anywhere but home on a ground ball. And that it's one's low and away, but she hacks ball. at it. And it's one and one. Ooh, That's called a strike. strike two. One, two. One ball, two strikes. Really brought the heat for that one. Let's and see, can she make a hit? Will she get struck out? Liberty you know down to potentially their last strike here. Oh. And throws an off-speed pitch for strike three. And, and that's that the game. is going to wrap this game up as uh, Liberty is going to take a loss here, 12 to four, as uh, Lacey just proves a little too tough today. Uh, really doing some serious damage behind the plate, actually. Wait, what? This is interesting. Oh, there's eight innings. No, there's not eight innings. That Wait, means we miscounted doing? somewhere along the way. What? And that was the sixth inning. That was the sixth inning? Let Wait, me explain how this works, Marshall. So I came late because of the Ferronis, and they told me we're in the third, which tells me we oh, were probably my. in the second. Which is okay by me, because guess what? We've got another inning of fabulous softball and fantastic weather to take advantage of here. And Liberty gets a shot at another at-bat. So All right. uh, for the home team announcers, it's a win-win for us, you know, win-win. And uh, hey, a little shout out to our crew today. We've, uh, we've got a little bit smaller of a crew today. Uh, Kyla Hernandez directing today with Maria and Robin and Dylan on the bus, and the Sagugli uh, brother and sister tandem on camera, and my good friend Marshall. Marshall? Yes. What school do you attend? Getz. Getz Middle School, correct? Yeah. yeah. 
Marshall's been doing some interning for us for the last six months, doing a good job. Yeah. He's uh, hoping to run the place in three years. We'll see. Yeah, I enjoy uh, coming out to these. Uh, that's great. Shows. All right, we got number 30 up here for the. That's 20. Number and that's going to get caught on the inside hands. Caitlin. Caitlin Harrick. It's going to be number 20. Oh, my bad. Over there. At the plate. It's getting a little bit chilly. Out here. That's that gonna be ball, ball misses. Once again, folks, we, uh, sorry I made a mistake there before I didn't mean to, to frighten everyone. We are in the top of the seventh. So the Liberty Lions still top have of the a seventh. little bit of a chance to try to get some that's it. more runs. And that's rope Whoa. to center. That's going to drop in. Oh, Just rough. out of reach. That's going to go for two, maybe three. Wow. She's going to third. It's going to be a is she going to make play it at the home? bag? Oh, she's and not. she's going to make it triple. In standing up. Good contact. Wow. Just out of that one, just out of the reach of our center fielder there, Ava Beccaro. Nope. Leah David. And Lacey starts the inning off with a triple. Wow. Uh, we got well, number two up. A runner on number third, two. no outs. Pretty good odds of this run oh. scoring, people. We got I Caruso. And that's up in the sun. That'll be helpful. And that's uh, one Stavaska out. one hands that for out number one. And a nice pitch there for strike one. We got um, looking like. Yeah, it looks like number, I want to say 20, but I could be wrong. Uh, it looks like number 10. Oh, yeah, I think you're right. Jay Kovacs. One ball, one strike here. Wait, hold up. That's a number three on her jersey. That is. There's a very good chance they did some substituting, in which case we don't have their number. So. Oh. It's unfortunate. It is. Oh, oh that's tough. She's going to go, and she's going to be safe to plate. Takes advantage of the pass ball there. And Haybrew at the plate. Lacey pushes across their 13th run of the day. Just misses for ball. Nobody on. One out. That's going to get fouled off. That's a ball, just misses. And she's gonna walk her. And that's gonna bring up, let's see what we got here. It's number one, Kahoot. 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 It's a fun game online you can play, Kahoot. And they go to second to get the one out. And safe at first. They do get the lead runner for out number two. Two outs now. And 
Take a look at this nice play here by the third baseman. Scoops this up. Smartly throws the ball to second base. They try to turn two, but again, we talked about this earlier. It's not easy turning two. As my friend Kermit the Frog would say, it ain't easy being green. It just ain't easy. Uh, we got number seven at the play, uh, Emmons. Emmons is our pitcher now here for Lacey, so let's see if she can help her own cause a bit. Yeah. Two outs here. Is Liberty looking to stop any more bleeding here? Get back be, uh, get back at the plate and try and score some runs. Called strike. Going to be a strike. I bet my camera operators have realized that on sunny days when they're working camera, they probably need to wear baseball caps. Yeah, definitely. It's very sunny out today. It is. Oh, that one's uh, it's should be, be catchable, and that's out fielder. number three. And that's going to wrap up this uh, inning, inning for Lacey. They do score one, increases their lead uh, to, let's see, to nine. And they're leading 13 to four. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be back for the bottom of the seventh. Be back. We're back, and we've got a little pinch hitter here, number 19, uh, that's Skepper. Riley Thorne. Gonna get her shot here. And this is in a tough spot, and oh, she's gonna she's reach. she's gonna make it. And she's and gonna she's try gonna go to take second. second on this, and, oh, and she's gonna goes make in it. standing up. Woo. Looks like Liberty's trying to stand up their game. Oh, step up. Uh, and uh, the error on replay. the play allows the runner to get to second. But listen, we're in it for the long here as we take a look at the replay here. There's a lot. Yep, that one just goes past the uh, glove of the first baseman. So Liberty's got a long way back. Go kind of like ball one. Got to go uh, one batter at a time here. Don't look ahead. Don't start thinking about you need this many runs. It's getting cold out here. Focus on the task at hand, which is to get on base. That's ball two. Ball two. And that's going to be, oh, whoa. And he's got a little trouble there with the ground ball, a shortstop. Next up, and we've got number runners 13. Runners at first and second with nobody out. We got Castillo, I believe. Now batting number 15, that is oh, Bianca DeRusso. Oh, wait, what? I thought we were here. Bianca DeRusso. Oh, yeah, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. Wrong team, wrong team. Now, looking at the wrong numbers, my friend. <laughs> So that wind's starting to pick up a little bit. Making a little Called bit chilly out here. On the swinging strike. Pretty nice pitch. Everybody looking to make contact here. Make these guys make some plays. Oh, 
And she's going to go good ahead idea. and bunt it. I like it. That's strike two. I like the bunt there. I really do. You know, uh, I, broke my, call. I broke my thumb playing baseball, and they had me bunt after it was broken. They oh. had me bunt it. Ouch, ouch. Um, and it was very painful. But, uh, well, hey. I'm glad you have a full recovery, Marshall. <laughs> yeah. Two strikes on her. That's ball one. Up and away. She's not going to chase there. Nobody out. First and second. Bottom of the seventh. One ball, two strikes. And that's up the middle and for a she's base hit. Go right to center base. And base. they're going to score oh a run. Center field. And the Liberty Lions are going to score one run. It's going to bump up, up to five. I don't know. I wonder if there is a uh, if there's something against sliding here. They're <laughs> making these plays close. As that base hit scores a run, and we'll take a look at the replay. There, pretty confident that she's going to score. Doesn't even hit the dirt. <laughs> and now up, back to the top of the order. Emily Tavaska up to the plate. Liberty uh, shortstop. A cannon front arm, by the way. Got nobody out, first and second. And that's ball up high. Well, the players should be pretty relaxed at the plate right now with down so many runs. Sometimes it's easier to sit in the count and swing a little bit more relaxed. And that's, that's ball two. Ball. Two balls, one strike. And let's take a look. And it's going to be a. That is ball. ball three. Emmons comes with a big heater, but it's up a bit in the strike zone. Three balls, one strike. Big pitch here. This is going to be the most hittable pitch here. And make sure it's a strike. And it's up and away for ball it's four. Up. That is going to load of the bases. And nobody out. Defensively, things made a hair easier here. They can pretty much get an out anywhere on a ground ball. Right. Not super concerned about giving up a run here with uh, the lead they have. So yeah. This is uh, number one, Leah David. And that's a ball, ball one. Things getting interesting here in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah. Liberty, uh, can they make a comeback? I'm not sure. Maybe. That's ball two. Ball two. Two balls, no strikes. Uh, yeah. That's a ball. Ball three. She'll be taking a strike here for sure. And, and that's gets that strike. strike. Three balls, one strike. How many outs are you? And there's nobody out. Oh. Dave is going to have a green light here. 3 1 count. Looking for a good hitter's pitch. Oh, and, and it's whoa. up and in, almost hits her. Oh, and right and that walk's going to cost him a run. As a Liberty closes to six runs. It's six to 13. Uh, seven runs, right? Yeah, close wins. 13 to six? Six. Yep. 13 to six, yeah. Pretty good, pretty and good. And 
the Lacey coach is going to have a minute with their pitcher and their infield and chat about what we could do. Oh, shout out. I'm sorry. I forgot about Matt in center field. Matt Gar toiling out there on our wireless camera. Give a wave, Matt. I can see you out there, buddy. Uh, thanks for working hard out there. I can see Matt's glorious hair blowing in the wind. <laughs> Doing a fine job getting that over the behind the pitcher shot for us. Yep. All right. We've got uh, 27 Jules Georgiano up here. Loaded bases, nobody out. And here we go. Exciting. And called strike. I'm sure coach went out there and said, hey, here's some advice. Throw strikes. Let the defense do the work. We got a yeah. big lead. I'm sure it went something like that. Yeah. Telling his defense to get the outs. That is ball one. Looked like a drop. And that ball's ripped. Oh. That's going to score two. Down, down. Oh, sorry. Oh, she's going to be I safe. I went into coaching mode there for a second. My bad. And that's a two-run single. Whoa. That's going to score two. Let's get a replay on the hats. Oh, my gosh. Man, let's take a look at the replay here. This ball's ripped nicely over the first base, second baseman's head in the right field. And that's going to score two as Coach Borelli had him moving. This is where it gets interesting. First and third. Hmm. Nobody out. First and third. Can Liberty make a comeback? Wow, this eight. is going very interesting. Well, one hit, one one batter at a time. I always say. Yep. That's ball that's one. Be a strike. Not a strike. As a strike. I'm sure the lacy catcher is hoping for a an out on a stolen base here to see what's in the coach's mind here. That's a strike. That strike one, one ball, one strike. Two strikes. Zero Two strikes. balls. It's fouled off for strike two. You got one ball, two strikes. What do you have? What? I got one ball, two strikes. I, I didn't cross it out. You're good. Find out in a minute. Oh, I thought I heard him. That's up for ball two. Two balls, two strikes. I swear I heard him say strike on the first one. Mm -hmm. That's all good. About two and two here. And it's going to be. And that's ball three. Three. Wow. Full count. She's just gonna. She's gonna keep coming. It's gonna be and close. And whoa! Looks like Liberty are gonna score. That hit to center field. Another skims run. Off. That skims off the center fielder's glove, and she ends up on second here. And we've got 13 to nine. 13 to nine with. Uh, as we take a look at the replay there. Or we took a look at the replay there, 13 and nine. With nobody out, runners on second and third. This is number five, Madison Jefferson. Still nobody out. Things are getting interesting here. 
Round ball. And she's going to stay put. She's going to be safe. And she's safe at first after the bobble. I think both base runners played that one smartly because, uh, you know, not a whole lot of space. to make sure that she made the throw. We'll take a look at the replay there. Use my shade from my big head to see the screen. She gets a ground ball to third. She knocks it down. And everybody holds and she tries to make the play. We and we're back seven. live. All right, once again, situationally, folks, loaded bases, nobody out. Ava Bucaro at the plate. Uh. And that's a strike. She goes fishing. No balls, two strikes here. Brown ball, everybody's got to move. It's going to be a strike, I believe. Strike two, so that's one ball, two strikes. Stand corrected. Pretty good hitter's pitch, to be honest, but she let that one go. Let's see if she can pick another one out here. Huh. That is ball that's two. That's a ball. Tries to get her to chase. Good pitch, but she doesn't bite. That is also up, full count. Talk about a tough situation right here. Oh yeah. Three, two count, nobody out. No place to put her. Can't really move the runners on the hit, but they gotta be on their toes here uh, in case the ball's hit on the ground. Fouls that one foul off. Ball. Good swing. It was a strike. Yeah. Doing a good job protecting that plate. Crowd's getting excited here. Oh yeah, can hear some screaming. Once again, no. Oh, we do have one out. That is it's ball be four. A ball four. And that makes ten. Let me go check on that. Whoa. Alrighty, folks. We got, looks like, looks like number 15 here at the plate. Oh. Oh, it's 18, number 18. All right, I'm back. Had to go double check that. Yes, indeed, nobody out. What's the count here? That's a strike. And this is, it's like number 18, Rebecca Galvin. Becky Galvin looking to help her own cause here. That's up. That's up. Two balls, one strike. Nobody out. Loaded bases. Makes contact there and fouls that off to stay alive. Two balls, two strikes. Ball four. And that's 13-11, nobody out. And yep. Coach uh, from Lacey back out to the circle and yeah, there's most likely gonna be a pitching change here. We'll see in a minute. And they'll switch them out. 
but here's the situation. Loaded bases, nobody out. Liberty now down by just two. And uh, this this game has gotten this game has gotten interesting. I'll tell you what. You just you just never know. I mean, I think the beautiful thing. I was just saying to Marshall, my compadre, that had to just leave there about what a beautiful game softball is. You know, uh, requires a few things from you. It requires skill. It requires heart. And it requires teamwork. Uh, and heart is such a key component to this game. And having that never die attitude that uh, really sustains you in times of troubles. You know, uh, I said earlier, there's no clock on a softball game. You play till the last out. And uh, that's kind of what the Liberty Lions have been doing here for the last uh, half hour. As since we entered the, the bottom of the seventh, They're down by eight coming into this inning and have closed the gap to two. Situationally, they have loaded bases and nobody out. Uh, what a fun game if you are, especially if you're, a, if you're a Liberty Lion, you're probably enjoying the comeback right now, but uh, if, if you're a fan of the game, this is definitely a fun one to watch. So they bring in number 10, a southpaw here. Kovacs, she's gonna come in and try and shut this down here. Now, you remember your Lacey has still got two runs to play with here. Uh, not super, super concerned about letting in one run, but uh, work needs to be done. They need to get outs. And this is number 19. In the hit here. Riley Thorne. That is ball one, up and away. That is ball two. Good fastball, but that's up a bit. Kovacs isn't gonna have much time to get her self together here as the bases are loaded. Ball three. A uh, 3 0 count. I would bet the house that she's taking a strike. And that's strike one. Oh, that's ball four. Liberty Lions now one run away from tying this up. And up to the plate now. We've got number 15, Bianca DeRusso. Pitcher's gonna take a second, talk to coach. Sure, my my uh, team on top of the dugouts is like, what's going on here? Well, situationally here, loaded bases. It's a one-run game. Nobody out. Pitcher needed to come out and wash her hand off a bit. All right, and that is Bianca DeRusso up. Strike one.
Strike two. Comes in with two straight strikes. All right. This is a good pitcher's pitch here, but she's probably just going to come with the strike here to, to get an out. And she gets her to chase, kind of pulls her head a bit in the process, but. And Lacey finally records an out here. And this is Emily Tavasca. She's going to. Situationally loaded bases, one out. Looking for a pitch to hit here. Pretty good speed on first and or on second and third. That one's fouled off the knuckles there. Inside, take a deep breath at the plate. Let those shoulders drop. Got to hit relaxed. That ball's up, one ball, one strike. And she's gonna foul that one off for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Fouls that off to stay alive. Just caught enough of that ball to get another shot at it here. And that is the game as they double up the runner on first. Oh, that's a heartbreaker. As the Lions, yeah, let's take a look at the replay here. The ball's gonna pop out to the second baseman and the runner at first doesn't get back in time situationally. So that game's gonna end. Lacey hangs on to win that one, 13 to 12, but uh, what a fun game uh, for both teams, and Lacey hangs on and uh, notches the win. That's all we have for today. Thanks for tuning in to JTV's Game of the Week. Hopefully we have another one good for you next time. So long. Have a good one.